another fucking podcast. Another fucking podcast. Another fucking podcast. Another fucking podcast. Another fucking podcast, bro. What the? F- Where are we gonna store it? it? Better come with some gigabytes. Welcome to the live stream fail podcast with, with your, your host Bang, Bang Martin. Martin. Hey, check out Bang's art at livestreamfailpodcast.com forward slash artwork. I helped make it. Live stream fail podcast for September eighteenth. Hey, bitch, we're live. Oh, shit. What about personal technical debt? We talk about technical debt in a business. Now, bitch, now. Gotta remember that. What are you waiting for? All right, All right let me put some of this shit on here. I'm gonna quote you great Papa G, baby. You ready? Mind is graveyard. Thought is graveyard. Past is graveyard. Mind. Same thing, same thing, graveyard, yeah baby, some Papa G, he's right man, all that shit, but, who's saying this now, who's saying it now, man, shit's in the graveyard baby, mind is graveyard, man I love that shit, dude it takes a long time to actually think that shit makes sense, or whatever, or whatever, no no no, don't change your mind now, you know what that's called? My buddy called my wife. No, 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 no. Someone called. My buddy called my buddy out. Something like that, right? Oh, this is back in the day, man. This is back in the day. And he changed his mind on something right away, right? He had like, you know, when someone comes out with that conviction, you know, the, the earth is fucking, I don't know, what'd you say? The earth is round. No, no. Someone comes up to you and says the earth is flat, right? With that sense of conviction, and then you show him a picture of the Earth from space, and he's just, uh, oh, okay, yeah, I guess, all right. That's a paper tiger, as I come to understand it. I'm going to have to look this up. Step one, look up paper tiger. You didn't know that I was helping you get your to-do list in order. And if you tune in next time, bro, I'll have all the answers to the test. I don't give a shit. I, I think we should be fucking working together on assignments, teach. What do you give a shit of what I know? I'm not the lone soldier. Well, you know, because there's going to be someone that'll whoop your ass. He's just going to sit. She, maybe. She's sitting in the back. She and he. There's two of them. They're bullies. Sitting back there playing cards. Hey, did you get the report done? Nerds. Anyway, Paper Tiger, right? They just got to say. They just got to say. It's one of those things. Hey, don't be a Paper Tiger. Why do you believe that? What's your deal? What's the scoop? Let's have this conversation. Maybe I'm wrong, bitch. They've been telling me the earth was flat in school where they told me Christopher Columbia was a cool dude eating turkey. I like turkey. Not really. I'm not a big turkey dude. You know, on Thanksgiving, you know what? I, let me think about what I go for. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about the Stouffer's stuffing, okay? And if you come at me with that bullshit your aunt makes and she puts in the fucking turkey, that's disgusting. Oh, man, I just lost the turkey giblet loving, the turkey giblet loving fan, fan peeps. Sorry. God dang it. We're just losing. Tick, 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 down, down, down. Shit. I gotta stop looking at the ticker. All right. Stouffer stuffing, man. Then I gotta go with, I love making, I don't, I just kind of love stirring the gravy a little bit, but I don't want to watch it. It's just gonna burn, right? You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. What do you put in it? What is that called? What is that mixture of water and flour called before you put in, or that you put into the, oh, no, no, you put it in, right? And then you got to put, it's flour and water. I believe that's called the slurry, right? Because you slurred around with, what do you call it? What do you call it? A whisk. You didn't know it was kitchen time. Kitchen whisk. I'm writing it down so I don't forget. Kitchen whisk. All right, then you put it in the fat. Where do you get the fat? It's the drippings from the turkey. Put that baby in the pot, right? You got to put a little bit of, uh, oh, you don't put it in yet. Shit, this is going to be out of order. If you're making the turkey now, like this is, you're listening to this on Thanksgiving. You've never cooked a turkey before, baby. I got the answer. Not me. I'm just saying this is what you're thinking as you listen to this, right? You see how to cook a turkey. I'm not even cooking the turkey. Someone else has already done that. I had to flip it, though. Them bitches are heavy and hot, right? They got me in there doing it. Oh, God. You know how many times I burnt myself? And I'm going to tell, I'm going to, ooh, I can't, right? 
you can't out someone that's still in the line of work. You start talking about all the stuff you and your buddy do, and he's a cop. And, uh, he, he was on this, you know, his, 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 uh, his face was on the podcast. But anyway, so you got this flower. Oh no, I messed you up. Shit. What do you use the slurry for? You use a slurry when you want to thicken something up, right? You want to thicken up a, uh, oh, I don't know. Well, there's a slurry. <laughs> if you're doing a test right now, uh, what do they call them? Crossword, right? That shit, I never, I never went, uh, the middle name of the 18th president of the, the United States of America. It's a seven letter word. Across, right? And you've been looking down the whole time. You're like, oh, Taft, baby. I got this. There was a T. There was an F, right? If you don't know what this is, shit, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Go on a plane. Whenever they let people start flying again, open up that book. There's one of these things. It's, it looks like, um, it looks like you a bunch of tic tac toes. Mm, see about this. Tic tac toe? No, it looks like a big old thing of, uh, like a uh, word search without the words, right? It's like a word search and 50% of the words, 70% of the words got bored and they said, fuck this. We're going to hang out with the crossword puzzle, right? They're doing diagonal shit. Remember when they introduced that? Diagonal crosswords? I will tell you what, if there is a, if there is a crossword search, bitch, I'm the king, I'm the queen, I'll take that whole shit over. I'll get Guinness there, they'll record it, right? David Blaine, baby, we'll have him there underwater for, for 18 minutes, I talked to him, while they were getting him on the, he was already on the podcast, and then it fucking disappeared. I must have said some shit he didn't like, and poof, Davy Blay Blay, let's get you on the pad, okay, look. I know how you do the frog shit. I know it. I know how you put that thing through through the roguester. I know how you put that needle through the roguester, bro. All that was um, all of it. You made all that shit up. You came over. You were on the pot. That's what happened, bitch. That's what happened. You hypnotized me to think that I saw that needle going through it. You are some piece of work. Those crossword searches, oh man. Taft, baby, down, right? No, it was a cross. And no one, no, here's the, here's the best kept secret. There wasn't an 18th president. That's why those fucking crossword puzzles are so stupid. Who? The dude on Jeopardy. That's it. Just him and Alec Trebek need to just have a show of them talking, right? About shit that no one is ever going to care, but someone wants to listen to. That's that part of the internet, baby. Alex Trebek and... I don't have a phone or an internet out here to tell you. Oh, paper tiger. Still for stuffing. Kitchen whisk. Diagonal crossword search, man. No, word search. Dude, those were the shit. And Guinness, hit your boy up. Dude, I'll do the fastest word search you've ever seen. If that's already some shit, let me just tell you what. Them some shitty ass times, baby. I don't give a shit. I've never seen your word search. You know what they do. You know they're all sitting there practicing the word search. So it's like the kids with the Rubik's Cube, right? Oh, was it a pattern? Did you already memorize it? It's just you can move your fingers faster. Play the piano, bitch. Let me see. Let me see the dude that can do two Rubik's Cubes. I bet he was a piano dude. I feel like that was the magician that was on American's Most Idols singing all them high notes, baby. Couldn't play the piano anymore, so we decided he would woo the ladies with all the cards. Yeah, ah, shit. Yin. No. Ah, shit. I don't remember his name. Let me think about it. Hmm. All right, I'll look it up since you really want to know. Shit. If you if you know the answer to this, I want you to take the next two days off. The next two? What two? Well, for me, it's Saturday, Sunday, and you can have them off. Not my wife. She got to work, baby. Saturday, Sunday, doing the full shifts. I got the kiddos. Okay. Let's see. Um, all right, Asian dude. <laughs> It's not uh, the first one that comes up when you spell it wrong. Adian. Oh, that's what happened. Spelled it wrong. The Asian market. Oh, let's see. Asian dude wins. Oh, magician. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to get... Uh, my. Everyone's been talking about appropriation, right? Appropriating people's shit. Someone did it. Paris Hilton? No. Saying that wrong. Some Someone uh, for taking uh, Chinese culture. Let me think if I can go back to this. And here's what you don't know, bitch. 
I'm I am I'm not gonna say half. I'm gonna say part Chinese, and my wife is half Korean. So and between us, we've got we've got a little a little over half of an Asian that can talk all kinds of shit. I'm talking about everyone now. See, Asian magician on American Scott Talent. Here we go. You ready for this, dude? No, this isn't the right. Yeah, here we go. I was gonna say this. <laughs> this is my first guess. <laughs> Shen Lim, right? Um, you know what happened was uh, <laughs> his mom was running around, right? His dad was a little frisky dude, and she was running, and she tripped over uh, the kitchen table. Right? They're smaller in Asian countries. You know, you sit on the floor and you take your shoes off. Yuck, right? Uh, <laughs> you, sir, need to put your shoes back on and eat outside. <laughs> you can sit out back with a dog. He's got to sit outside. He's too. Man, I, I don't like that begging shit, right? Dude, stop begging, bro. You just ate. You ate all your food. Now you're coming over here. What friends do you have that are like that? Just scarf it down, and they're just looking. I, my buddy was like that, but I met him. Met him through my wife, right? Really cool dude. But he, I think he just had a problem with attention. And so he would always look at what you were doing. And he said to me, it looked like he was, he just wanted my food. He was just looking every time I took a, picked up a French fry, every time I picked up a bite. And then he, I'm making this part up, but he would open his mouth and it would start watering. It's like my dog, man. Dude, you just ate. Leave my shit alone. I don't like it. And I'll tell him no begging, right? And I got to tell him no biting because he likes to herd shit. You know those things like the Great Cattle Drive? What's that movie? Come on, man. You know, you heard it on that pod, that, that, that great podcast with those Zen dudes. You just got to tune in. I can't give it away. He talks about these movies, man. He's coming up with all this positive stuff. We're over here telling you like it is, right? Being consciousness and shit. Just being, baby. We don't know. Oof. Stop begging, right? But he likes to he likes to herd stuff. So these kids are running around and he's nipping at him. You know, he's just he's just trying to taste. Let's get a little taste. Oh, like uh, Tigger. My wife says Tiger. It's Tiger. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, man. I got a headache. This thing is not going away. Woke up with it, right? I didn't do anything. Maybe it's stressing. Day, day two, full time with the kiddos. Man, maybe it is stressing me out. No, maybe it's lack of sleep, right? Five hours? It's like a Tesla. This pristine thing is like a Tesla. You got to charge that thing. You don't charge it. It's just the pretty paperweight. You might as well park it on your... Um, I don't know, you got a report due in three weeks you're not doing until then? What day? Here, I'll tell you what three weeks is, just in case you sit next to your friend. Like, we got to do this fucking report. They just told us it's Friday. We got three weeks. It's doing it in a couple Fridays. And they're saying, yeah, but did you hear that Katy Perry song? Last Friday night, and I jumped into the wall. All I'm watching, that's your blow. All right, so if it's Friday the 18th, right, today, September, I don't tell you the year. That way you can listen to this every year. It's it's like, a, ooh, you know, every time we come out with these, it's like another vacation or another uh, holiday, another day off. You should take the day off. Like I said, take Saturday, Sunday off, 19th and 20th if you're following along. Okay, three weeks from now. Let me see how to get back to the month view. Oh, yeah, this is easy. The 25th of September, the 2nd of September, oh, of October. <laughs> and then the 9th of October. Let me click on it. There's a little bubble. I'll let you know what's going on here. Nope. No holidays. Just something already on it. Okay. So you should be doing a report right now. But you're not because your friend's over there already. She doesn't have a report due. She's like your friend alcohol, right? Hey, just one, right? Look at me. I'm having a great time right now. I got the same report due, right? But your friend, she doesn't... uh uh, her parents are going to do it, right? Whatever. Someone's going to do it. She's not going to. She's got a, a pretty boy toy. I used to, a buddy would come over, man, and drop some shit on me. I wonder, you know, you wonder why you hate certain things. You don't like the EPA MLAs, right? All that, all that writing paper shit. It should just say wikipedia.com, bitch. Go look it up yourself. I looked it up already. I wrote this paper. You asked me to write you some shit. And I'm just going to, what, what do you want, what more can I give you? Look, they change Wikipedia every other day, right? The facts got to get updated. They got to be correct. And you got to reference that shit. Look, wikipedia.com, let's stop wasting fucking time in life. But then again, 
when you decide that you, no, 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 I'm not saying I'm better than Wikipedia. I'm saying we're one and one, bitch. What do you want me to do? Memorize the internet? It's, people are already putting it out there. My memory is dog shit. Okay, this this is not working my memory any any better. Having me memorize the 18th, uh, number six, right? If you're following along, the 18th, um, what was it? Four down, right? Four down, seven letters. 18th president who doesn't exist. That is the best kept secret, man. They just they skipped one to see if anyone was following along. Cause fuck you, bitch. Um, pay your taxes. That's all we give a shit about. Uh, we're going to keep this thing running. And you're like, oh, I know the 18th president of the the United States. Uh, I've got them all memorized, all 47 now. No, I think we're at 46, 52. It's just a math problem at this point. Um, 18th president's middle name, bitch. What is it? Uh, actually, in 1700s, they didn't have a middle name. Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. That's your brain playing tricks on you. You weren't told to memorize the middle names because you're limited, bitch. Why would you, why are you memorizing presidents' names? When is that ever going to, are you on Jeopardy? Because someone already broke the game. You know the high score when you break it and it just buffer overflows and the, yes, circuits get fried literally because you're too fucking good at the game? It's just like me in life, baby. I'm breaking this shit. Just ka ka What is this? Is it Donkey Kong? Never played that game, but I saw that movie Pixels. It was the shit. I'm putting it on here. This is how great it was. Your boy Adam Sandy Sands coming on. I, uh, you know what? I'm getting a, I'm getting a hold of Happy Madison myself. I'm I'm gonna pull a Steve Jobby Jobs. I'm calling him up, and I'm just gonna say, hey, send me some motherboards, baby. And in this this case, send me some of your charisma, charisma. Remember when he tried to spell buzz? <laughs> He spells, uh, what does he spell first? Billy Madison. Billy Madison. I'm getting to the president's middle name, bitch. Come on, I got a star in here. It's the last thing I'll talk about because I got to go get some coffee. What does he spell? He spells, spell, hmm, uh, mm, mm, red. Oh, that's what he does, right? He spells a fresh red. Uh, oh, Miss Veronica Vaughn. Right? Who, who played Veronica Vaughn? Chris Farley, man, everybody's in this movie. I'll hit you with all of them in a minute. So he's spelling red, right? Veronica Vaughn, Bridget Wilson Sampras. Yes, that Bridget Wilson, right? The one married to the guy that just couldn't play enough tennis until he couldn't, right? The Fed, the Fedster came along. Fred, Fred, you know who I'm talking about. I gotta say his name right. Roger motherfucking Federer. He wouldn't say it like that, dude. He would say, all he would say, <laughs> hey, listen, Roger Federer, when he shows up for a reservation, he just does this number where it's like a pirouette. I think that's what it is. I took some years of dance. And, uh, and then does, does a sweet backhand. And they say, right this way, Dr. Federer. Honorary, and as long as you're in this, wherever you are, right, as long as you're in this restaurant, in this museum, in this White House, you are an honorary doctor, Federer, with that sweet backhand. So she was married to him, not him. Not, no, she was married to Sampras, right? That's where Bridget Wilson Sampras comes from. But Bridget Wilson, she was that Veronica Vaughn is one piece of ace, right? Your boy Chris Farley hitting, hitting you with it. He says that in... And he, then he says, I know from experience. And, and Billy Madison says, ah, no, you don't. Right. And he says, well, not me, but a friend I know. And he says, ah, uh, no, no, he didn't. Uh, no, but you can imagine what it would be like, right? So he's up at the board, and he's got a spell red in cursive. Oh, shit. No problem. Red, R-E-D, right? He spells it in this fresh, you know how you make the R and the D look sweet with the E in the middle? But then she says, all right, all right, motherfucker, right? You think you got this, right? You're making fun of all these, what was he in, fifth grade? He must have been. Third grade? No, third grade, right? Third grade. And uh, and so he says, uh, she says, all right, bitch, spell buzz, right? 
buzz hitting you with the buzz that zzz and zzz, zzz. So you gotta is it a a little scooter zzz, or is it a weed whacker and he spells buzz right he but he 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 pauses right he's got the b no problem big old b he got the u that's a cool u and then he starts trying to do the z and <laughs> it's just like a it's like, a zzz, like how, however you would draw a zzz, right? There's no loop in the bottom like you draw a Z. And the kids don't give a shit because they don't do cursive anymore. They're taking that shit out of schools. You don't need to sign your name anymore. Uh, I was going to say that ironically, but you kind of don't. It's all digital now. <laughs> You're just a number. You're just in a little database somewhere, right? And then they figure out how much it costs to host all the people's data and people. And they say, well, you know, it's just, uh, you know, like you're going to wipe out your pictures. You took all these badass pictures. You got all these badass movies. But uh, you need to save the latest and greatest version of NCIS Los Angeles, right? That's a good one. I like that one. It's not the OG, but I love. Oh, boy. I have to talk about these guys. I never said why I was going in pixels, right? They, it's a whole movie about how video games come to life and Donkey Kong. I'm blowing shit up. I would grab one of those fucking powder kegs and whoosh, throw it, blow up whatever I was talking about when I started talking about that shit. Buzz, right? He can't say it. He can't spell it. So who was the dude's middle name? I know, bitch. You're limited. I'm crushing life. Killing it, bitch. I don't know any of the president's names. I don't even know this one, right? If someone came up to me today and said they were the president, I'd have to... For a second, at least. Ooh, shit. I did not wake up this morning thinking I was meeting this motherfucker today. It was pretty badass, man. It can only get, I guess it could only get worse from there, right? You just, you might as well go to sleep. Call that day a wrap, baby. Call it a wrap. All right, let me look up this dude's middle name, and I'm going to call it good, bitch. If you knew his middle name, you, you have, you are the Guinness Book, right? You are the standard, so you can take... You just, you tell me what to take. You just, you can start dishing out the old orders. Wikipedia. Here we go, man. Hey, teach. Yo. <laughs> I'm saving, I'm saving the environment here. I'm not going to print that 18th page, um, of all the shit that is more accurate now on Wikipedia as we speak. Um, so we can look at it together. You got your pewter up still? I already put mine in my bag. I'm walking out to class, right? And you're like, hey, where's your salicibe? Where's your salicibe? Right? Where's your cornucopia? Where the fuck is your APA? Let's look up what the fuck that stands for. That's so stupid. Yeah, exactly. I've got to go to disambiguation. There are 18 fucking categories on what this could be. Uh, is it under language? Let's try that. APA style. Yep. Boom. Prescriptive writing style. That's what we knew it was. But why do you call it that? Okay. The American Psychological Association. Oh, I get it. So they were tired of people just probably ripping their shit off. And so they came out with this like, hey, this is how you should probably not steal shit. Um, and then they made a bunch of money on it. And they probably sold it to schools. The schools in turn made children, uh, people, whatever, college, pay for. Man, when I went to college, dude. Holy shit. Hundreds of dollars, man, for like a book. 200 bucks for a stupid psychology book that we never use. We walk in, it's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach off the board, baby. No, no, we had to use it. We had to read that shit. And I never did. I'm not reading it, man. I, uh, I'm not interested. They said I had to take this class. They said I had to, motherfuck. Not, not just, uh, take it. Um, they also said, hey, dude, how about some shekels? You gotta pay for this shit, too. What a fucking, what a fucking, oh boy, what a. Please stand by. Sound recorder is taking a mandated break. Okay, shit. This is this is why this, this app sucks because I was in the middle of giving you the answer, the 18th president. Let's see if I can do this before I get another text, right? Fucking canceling this shit. 18th. I'll see how many amendment. The 18th amendment. You didn't know you were gonna learn some shit here. To put you on this. 18th Amendment to the Constitution established prohibition of alcohol in the United States. Oh, I wonder if this coincided, corresponded, 
to the 18th president. If it did, you know that all this shit is um, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Let's see, who, when was he? Let's see how far off we are. He was the 32nd, so almost little, little um, less than, than twice the presidents here. Let's go down to see. Let's see if there's uh, presidents of the United States. Here we go, presidents. Boom. Yeah, Wikipedia. Go fuck yourself, man. I'm going to go back and find all of my papers and figure out who my teachers were and just say, dude, you should have been teaching us more about life here, you fucking asshole. I'm paying you for this shit. Are you really handing out this fucking recycled bullshit? You are such a piece of shit. You, Mr. Gonzalez. No, I, oh, I think he was my, um, he wasn't even mine. It's like my buddy's art teacher. He looked like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> all respect, man. Freddie is the shit. Okay. Why, why are they not telling me who the fucking presidents were? This is, this should be, this is the list. Okay. Yeah. I get that we see in the first one. Let's see. Where's the list? Where's the listing? Okay. Where's the, oh, here we go. List of, oh shit. Oh, and then, then there's one from Mexico. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Boom. Oh, I got such a headache, man. I gotta have to take some, something. All right. Here we go. Here we go. They better have, oh, they're all dead. <laughs> Just fucking with you. Oh shit. It's your boy. Everyone knew the answer to this. Everyone knew this. I'm an asshole. But I bet you don't know. I bet you don't know. You fucking don't know the answer to this. This, I should have, I should have just taken a guess, right? Anyone could have guessed this. This is number eight. What is his middle name? All right. I'll, I'll let you, if you had this, you get, you get half credit. You get one day off. You get Saturday off, okay? You don't, you're, you don't have to do anything. And if they, you just tell them to call me and say, hey, yeah, 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 yo, yo, I got the day off. Yeah, they fucking called me up in the top there. They called the big guys. Yeah, they said we're fucking over. Right? You think you don't got to fucking do it. Okay. All right, here, for 50% credit, Miss Ragland should have known this shit. Ready? You guys had this. April 27th, 1822. If you're good with dates, maybe you knew it by this. To July 23rd, 1855, this dude, nay, nay, soldier, American soldier and politician, he served as the 18th president. Okay, maybe you're good with dates of when the president was in office. He was in from uh, 1869 to 1877, okay, before his presidency. Grant, ah, gave it away, led the Union Army as a commanding general of the United States Army in the winning of the American Civil War. Dude, yeah, I'm a I'm an idiot. Uh or no, my memory is an idiot. Yeah, memory. You suck, not me. I'm perfect. On the inside. Okay, so check this out. This dude, Ulysses S. Grant. Ah, okay. Okay. Alright, for seventy five percent credit. If you said Ulysses, you said fuck his middle name, right? I'm going with Ulysses S. Grant, and I'm just going to say Ulysses was his middle name, right? It was Ulysses Ulysses because he was the – this is just how badass he was. No. his He was born Hiram Ulysses Grant. So his – um what the S stands for, I'm, I'm going to see if I can figure this out. This is probably one of the greatest mysteries. Dude, man, in office. Did he take over for – um for Lincoln when he was when he was assassinated assassinated when he was shot um, assassinated seems like a CIA term no I mean we say the same thing right um right, what's the S stand for Ulysses S Grant but anyway his name is Hiram Ulysses Grant so one two three four five six seven this is how I there's not no 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 is that seven this I said seven down right seven down oh but I had a T in there if I said Taft, I had Taft on the mind, Laffy Taffy. Okay, let's see if we can just figure out what the S is real quick. What is the S? It's a pseudonym. S in Ulysses. There we go. Boom. What's it stand for? Okay, this is blog.nyhistory.org. And then it's going <laughs> to, oh, look, Simpson. In truth, Simpson was not part of his name at all, but S. In answer to your letter a few days ago asking what S stands for in my name, I can only state nothing. Yes, it's largely inconsequential. Hmm. And one wonders why a congressman. They go, um, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, S apparently Grant tried to rectify the problem, but it's effort. Um, 
Hmm, interesting. Looks like it may have been <laughs> accidentally made a misprint. With the benefit of historic hindsight through the, yes, yeah, seems less mistake than prophecy, right? Oh boy. Let's hear what you have to say. His initials were said to stand for unconditional surrender in honor of his demand for the same. That, that is like the, the dude, the writer from 300. You, you know, the soldier that walked around, but his, his, he was the great storyteller, the great orator. And yeah, man, it's good shit. All right. Now, bitch, we'll catch you on a flip. Bye. Thank you for listening to Bang Martin's Patty Pad. Hit that like you like button and subscribe.